Tracy Squires, who responds to Opticon's lives. And Ethel Koppelmeyer, our fine player, piano player. Piano. Piano. <laughs> As mayor of River City, I'd like to welcome you River Citizens to the Fourth of July exercises set up for the indoors here in Madison Gymnasium. Count the weather. <laughs> Seven years ago, our forefather. You wouldn't last very long in the banking business being accurate most of the time. I'll show you a little bit of a manager. Watch out, Lord. Watch out. Hmm. The number eight's late again tonight. I make her early. She's late, all right. She's right on time. What's the matter with your watch? Your watch is right. Will all you members of the school board put bigger in public? All the what I see. Never mind. There's a pool table in town. Yeah, that's what I heard. Now, just a minute here. Now, is there a pool table or isn't there? Will you allow it to get on with the exercises? We don't want any more exercises till we get this pool table made of 
Yeah. Let's protect our children. Yeah. Let's sin and corruption. Yeah. Let that devil and keep our young boys pure. Yeah. Friends, may I have your attention, please? Your attention, please. I can deal with this trouble, friends, with a wave of my hand, this very hand. Please observe me, if you will. I'm Professor Harold Hill, and I'm here to organize a River City Boys Band. Purr. Oh, think, my friends, how could any pool table ever hope to compete with the gold trombone? Ra, 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 da, 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 ra, ra. Remember, my friends, what a handful of trumpet players did to the famous fabled walls of Jericho. Oh, billiard parlor walls come a tumbling down. Oh, a band will do it, my friends. Oh, yes, I mean a boys band. Do you hear me? I say River City's gotta have a boys band, and I mean she needs it today. Well, Professor, Harold Hill's on hand, and River City's gonna have her boys band. As sure as the Lord made little green apples, and that band's gonna be in uniform. Johnny, Willie, Teddy, Fred, and you'll see the glitter of crashing cymbals, and you'll hear the thunder of rolling drums, and the shimmer of trumpets. Tantara! And you'll feel something akin to the electric thrill I once enjoyed. When Gilmore, Liberati, Pat Conway, the great Creator, W.C. Handy, and John Philip Sousa all came to town on the very same historic day. Seventy-six strong bones led to Parade, with a hundred and ten cornets close at hand. They were followed by rows and rows of the finest virtuosos, the queen of every famous man. Seventy-six strong bones led the parade, with a hundred and ten cornets right behind. There were more than a thousand reeds springing up like weeds. There were horns of every shape and kind. There were copper bottom timpani in horse platoons, thundering, thundering all along the way. Double bell euphoniums in big bassoons, each bassoon having his big fat say. There were fifty mounted cannon in the battery, thundering, thundering louder than before. Clarinets of every size and trumpeters would improvise a full octave higher than the score. City Hall. 
Ben, I want that Spellbinder's credentials. You know what, Constable? I'll be responsible for the boy. But, Professor, you don't know this kid. He's tough. He's got his gang waiting for him outside. I'll be careful. Tommy, I'd like to talk to you about, about the band. Professor, that's for the little kids. Well, I'm not talking about you playing in the band. Now, you're mechanically minded, aren't you? Ever do anything with perpetual motion? Nearly had it a couple times. You did? <laughs> Why, you're my man. Did you know no one has ever invented a music holder for a marching piccolo player? There's no place to hang the music. Chili Clyde, where do I get some wire from? Look in your cellar. That's where people keep wire. <laughs> oh, and Tommy. Yes, sir. Now, Constable, I'll show you how to break up a game. Oh, young lady. Oh, miss. What's your name? Zanita. I didn't have any idea he was beckoning me. He gads. Do you know Tommy Jules? Well, uh... Tommy, this is Zanita. Escort the young lady home. Only accepting I'm not going home. I have to go to the library. He gads. Escort the young lady home by way of the library. Better yet, by way of the candy kitchen. Do I have to? You have to. Yes, sir. He gads! <laughs> Oh, Professor, you're a pretty bright fellow, but you made a couple of mistakes, though. Oh? You see, the mayor happened to own that billiard apartment and that new pool table. I see. And what was my other mistake? That's Anita. She's the mayor's oldest girl. <laughs> Just a minute, Professor. <laughs> we need your credentials for the school board. Academic certificates. Nothing on a card. We need letters and papers. Make him put up a bond. Gentlemen, gentlemen, <laughs> what am I hearing? <laughs> Say, ice cream. Ice cream. But I don't sing, young man. All right, all right, talk then. Down here. Ice cream. <laughs> <laughs> talk slow. I scream. You see, singing is only the same topic. And now you, and now you right here. I scream. And please, you sir. I scream. <laughs> ladies, ladies, from now on, he'll never see one of these men without the other. Your apprehensions confused.